Welcome back to Destination Sacred Grounds vlog. Today's vlog is about disconnection and feeling isolated and how we reconnect. So whether you feel like you're isolated now or have felt isolated and disconnected in the past, this vlog might just be for you. So today I'll be taking you through the process of how to reconnect and feel that connection once again as I go through the process for myself. So stick around if that resonates with you. So I've always been an introvert. I've enjoyed my own company. I don't get bored. I love the seclusion on the road. But we need to stay connected in community. And if we don't have that, feelings of isolation and disconnect can set in. And for the past couple of months, that's how I felt, disconnected. But I know I'm not the only one. I know that there are so many other people out there feeling the same way, whether you live on the road or you don't live on the road. COVID has had detrimental effects to society, but it's not just that. People feel disconnected and isolated for so many more reasons. For me, within the last couple of months, not feeling like I belong to a tribe, not feeling like I have a home base and coming of an age has all set in. Now, some of this may resonate with you. There might be slight differences. You may have more feelings of isolation and disconnect or maybe less. Either way, these feelings that we have, the thoughts that arise, they're all great opportunities to know if something's not working or something's not right. And it's an opportunity to change that. Hence why I'm doing this vlog to work on the stuff that I need to for myself and take you through the process because I know so many others are isolated and disconnected out there as well. List your tribe. This may be family, friends, co-workers or any important networks you can go to chat with. If you're a visual person, grab some paper and draw your self name or a representation of you in the middle and write out the names of your tribe members all around you. Categorize your tribe if that works for you. And if not, you can mentally do this or grab a friend to chat about this a little more. I work well with visuals and the time spent creating mindfully with colors and pictures allows further ideas to flow. This process is a really good process to understand who's in your tribe now. But if you don't have many or any, now is the time. There are countless ways to find your tribe. If you're tech savvy, there are online communities, social media, groups, forums, and other websites where you can share ideas, interests, and make friends. What you seek online will depend on your interests. If you like reading, look for a book club. Maybe it's crochet or cooking, where you can chat about different techniques and share your creations. Perhaps you would like to learn how to prepare for life on the road. There's countless groups and pages to learn from and to gain connection from. Whatever your interest, I'm sure there'll be something for you online. Think about what you like to do in your spare time. Things that bring you joy. Many of the sites will just be an online chat engagement. However, some will also have events where you can meet up face to face. And if you are a face to face type person, get outside your comfort zone and talk to people. Strike up a conversation with your neighbor, the retail assistant, whoever. Know your likes and dislikes and find these in others. Find out what's going on in your local area or the places you're visiting, like gyms, social clubs. Just talking to people will open doors that you didn't before have. And if you have spare time, maybe you can volunteer helping community and meet new people while you're at it. Then there are services if you're really feeling isolated or disconnected like Lifeline, Mission Australia, Beyond Blue, who provide telephone counselling, information and support. These services exist for a good reason, and there should never be shame about accessing support for yourself. Know your tribe. Spend time reaching out, connecting, making conversation, plan a coffee date, write up a post introducing yourself to an online group, start conversations and ask questions about others. Try and get outside your comfort zone. This is where the real change happens. For those of you on the road, it might be difficult for face-to-face -face interactions, but this is where online may be needed. If you don't put yourself out there, change just may never happen. There are countless pieces of information online, YouTube blogs, Facebook, social media, all these different websites. But if you don't actually do something about this, if you don't take action, if you just read or just watch, nothing will change. A deeper connection. What else gives you those feelings of connection? 
Personally, I use spirituality as a form of connection. And when feeling isolated or disconnected, I recognize that I'm supported and held by something so much greater. I'm connected to a source of love and light. Seeing the sunrise and the earth so alive each day and the moon shine each night gives me a sense of belonging I've never felt before. I use meditation, earth-based mindfulness and other magical practices which strengthen my relationship to the divine. For you it may be a walk in nature or swimming in the ocean. It really differs for everyone. Explore activities and deepen your relationship with the ones that bring you a sense of connection. These ideas might seem really simple, but when we continue to do the same things day in and day out, we get ourselves stuck in a rut doing the same patterns. But until we push those boundaries, until we do something different, until we make new connections, we're staying in the same cycle. So get out of your comfort zone and push the boundaries. If you feel disconnected, know that you are not alone. I, like so many others, feel or have felt that disconnect, which ultimately forms a deeper connection of its own. Recognize that we are all connected, regardless of sex, race, religion. And when we feel into that connection, life is beautiful. We are not alone. We are connected by breath and many by sound, sight and sensation. We are connected in love, spirit and in light. so much for connecting with this vlog. I really hope you've been able to take something away from this. Obviously I haven't included everything so if you have any suggestions or ideas that might help others please comment them below. I think the more information we can access the better. I've been able to take myself through the process and I've gained lots of extra support and guidance and deeper connections by doing so. Thank you so much for watching the vlog and I hope you come back next fortnight when I put out my next one. See you later.